Uh, with the Arizona decision, the Supreme Court really sent a strong message to the states to go slow with respect to any sort of independent initiatives in the context of immigration enforcement. The court uh, very clearly framed immigration as a matter of national foreign relations. And that sends a very strong cue that this is a context in which all bets are off with respect to federalism. It's not the ordinary realm uh, in which there are certain assumptions that the states have authority. On the contrary, it's a context in which there's an assumption, in effect, that the states have no, have no power, uh, or very little power, or only such power as the political branches expressly uh, approve. Well, the Supreme Court gave a very strong cue here to the lower courts. And the Supreme Court likes to exercise judicial economy. It, it likes to uh, take a case, or take an issue, take it once and get it over with, uh, and then really give marching orders to the lower courts. And it very much did that in this case. Uh, it sent a strong message not only to the states but to the courts that uh, these efforts shouldn't, shouldn't be tolerated by the lower courts. So innovation, again, I think from here on in is going to require federal cooperation. So I think of it as really a regime of negotiated federalism going forward uh, in, in, in this context. That said, I think there is room for some constructive innovation. Um, I think that, especially to the extent that the states look to uh, have approved packages that take a constructive stance to confronting the issues relating to illegal immigration, that those uh, sorts of initiatives stand a much better prospect for federal approval than do those that are taken in a more sort of confrontational posture on the part of the states.